it. All right, if you are traveling, uh, hopefully you've got your gas ready, your yeah, tickets check. in hand. Check. Weather. Yes. For that Hot. drive. Humid. Hot so you can humid. pack the cooler, sunscreen, the shade, one of the pop-up tents. Mm -hmm. I've actually been to the stadium before. It's a great venue. Real nice tailgaters. People are very friendly, of course, because they know that we're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we're going to leave, right? Uh, but it is a, it's a three-and-a-half-hour drive to get out there. It's worth a trip because it's going to be a very nice. You can't count on this kind of weather in November. So no. make the trip in September yeah. and do it. Yeah. It's looking good. Take a look at the forecast for the game at Indiana at 3.30 afternoon. Warm-ups, 80 degrees, mid-80s for kickoff and mid-game. And notice the sunshine there and no shower or storms. We're going to look and feel a lot more like summer as we get into the first weekend of September. Again, might just be worth packing up the uh, the station wagon and getting out there for the road trip out to uh, Bloomington. Downtown Columbus earlier today, bringing it back closer to home. Didn't look so great. If you were out and about, probably a mixture of clouds and sun. As soon as that sun popped out, it felt pretty good, but still chillier than normal. We are seeing heading uh, in the right direction. More clearing, more blue sky and fewer clouds and a little if any chance of showers. Right now we're 71 degrees. That is the coolest temperature they've seen since the 12th of June. And yeah, I know fall is right around the corner. You'll see our 10 day forecast has a lot of summer, but you know as well as I do, that's generally the way things are going to be heading. Dew point at 58, but that north wind at 10, that's what brought the clouds in and that's what you know, reinforcing shot of cool air during the day today and tonight and even into tomorrow uh, night and Friday morning. Right now, Delaware is right around 70, trust me. Columbus at 71, Lancaster at 74, Marysville, London, mid to upper 60s this evening. If you have the windows wide open tonight, you are going to feel it. Our by hour conditions, clearing skies, light winds down into the 50s by tomorrow morning. That's for Columbus. Outlying communities in the upper 40s when you wake up and roll out tomorrow morning. But as fast as we cool down tomorrow, we're going to warm it right back up. Your Thursday weather looking perfect by the middle part of the day. A little breezy, but plenty of sunshine and dry. And second half of the day equally pleasant back in the mid to upper 70s, which is still below normal, but at least we're warming things back up. So let's get to Friday starting a long holiday weekend for many another cool start. Yeah, a lot of 40s out there, especially in some of our outlying communities and towns. Upper 40s quickly give way to around 75 degrees by lunchtime. It is going to be a perfect day to get outside, brown bag that lunch, eat on the patio, or just go for some vitamin D during your lunch break. Going through the afternoon and the evening Friday, things are going to look equally pleasant for your plans Friday night. And we'll say that over the next several days, because of an increase in temperature and humidity, Friday could be nearly a perfect 10. So if you've got plans, keep them. If you don't have plans, maybe you want to check out one of the local high school football games third week in a row. And by the way, Dom and sports guys, the weather is going to be perfect for Friday night football. 80 degrees as you head out, 7 p.m. kickoff at 78 and staying dry to finish things off. The rest of the forecast after first and 10, looking like nearly a perfect 10 on Saturday, Sunday, 89. Then we've got a little string of 90s coming up Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And relatively speaking, a bit of a cool down Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Probably our next chance of a shower or storm won't be until the middle and second part of next week week.